What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so getting these things mounted into balance. I had the rears mounted and I didn't do anything else with them. So I have the fronts with me so I can put them all on at the same time. So pretty pumped about that. So they'll be going on today. I'm really, really excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. Which ones are the drag radials? <laughs> I I wore these down. I I got every every mile out of them. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. <laughs> My God, this truck looks so good. So for the, for y'all that don't know, these are not your typical off the shelf uh, Bogarts for the uh, the twenties. Twenties uh, are obviously not their. I think they have off the shelf version, but these are actually. Uh, made a little different so they clear the 2020 brakes they still wouldn't clear if the these brakes had the hump on it so they'd have to be recessed out more but these are off the shelf dude you got good ass fitment these are the uh, 295 55 15 hoosiers and then up front has got a set of nittos there are two i want to say they're they're 245 45 20 man oh. we'll go do some uh, some pulls and uh, see how she picks up um, I did a little pull just to get her going she seemed to be doing all right Yo, I'm in love. Jesus. The fronts are about 29 inch tall and the rears are 28. So the truck's about. So there are two things I have to do before I can like really get into it. Um, by getting into it, I mean like really ripping on her. I have to update the tune because, um, Right now the tire size that the truck thinks it has is a 30 inch tall. So I need to go in there and tell it that it's now a 28. So it can correct the speed. And then I probably should update my shift points um, or shift mile an hour. The RPM should be the same, but the shift mile an hour should be less because we are, we'll be turning more RPM at the same mile an hour. So I should be able to just put the 28 in for now. I also put the bigger headers in, so it, it may run different on the air fuel, so I don't exactly know. So there's gonna be some testing I gotta do, and you guys are coming along to find out what's going on. I just got done writing this, so we can close this, but I had to go into the speedometer and make sure that this was 390, which it was. And then the other thing I had to do was go to the gear tire wizard and change this to 27.8 and that's the rear tire size and the gear ratio for 390. I had these two check boxes so it'll calibrate. Um, one other way you can figure out your exact tire height, uh, there's this unit conversion you can put in what you need up here and it'll spit out a number here. So if I do uh, 295, 55, 15, 27.8. So you put that in here and it updates it for you. And now we can go test this out. <laughs> there we go.
just smaller, but that doesn't affect the idle. I don't know, man. We'll find out how many uh, miles I got in this oil change. Oh, I got 1,400. Almost time to do another one. I change this at like every 3,000 with the 85 in it. There we go. This is why I'm not going to be doing a poll right now. 
<laughs> all this damn traffic. If it opens up, maybe I can let her let her eat a little bit.